Coming off their bye week, the Seattle Seahawks have had time to rest and recover following their victorious trip across the pod. For week eight, they remain on the road, this time to take on the 3-3 three three Detroit Lions who have found their form in recent weeks under new head coach Matt Patricia. We're up against a, um, a, a team that really has done a lot of really similar things that we've done. They started you know, kind of funky and lost a couple, and then they just played some great football. And uh, they, shoot, they beat New England, they beat the Packers, they beat Miami last week, looking really good. And, and uh, so it's going to be a terrific matchup, I hope, and I hope we can make it that. And uh, it's a talented group, and it's kind of fun to go against Matt Patricia for, in his first season. Always had a lot of respect for the work that he's done over the years. and, and uh, Kind of looking forward to playing against this club. The Lions run game had a field day in their last outing, rushing for nearly 250 yards. Veteran LeGarrette Blunt leads the rushing attack with three touchdowns, but it's rookie Carrion Johnson that has been getting a lot of attention. Johnson leads all rookie running backs, averaging 6.4 yards per carry and 74 yards per game. He's done a really good job in hitting the holes and, you know, finishing off the runs um, uh, really well. And that's what excites you to play somebody like that, knowing that you know, you're going to have to, you know, bring your, bring your game. And, um, you know, he's he can do it, you know, outside, inside. And, you know, they kind of look at him a little bit, uh, you know, as far as uh, passing, too. So um, it's, it's cool when you have, uh, um, you know, back that they kind of rely on like that to do those things. And, um, you know, he's done a good job. They have a bunch of good running backs, and um, all the guys do. Um, bring something new to the table with Blunt and with um, number 33, Johnson. And so the running game is good. We just got to make sure that we fit up really well what they do. Just to make sure that we, that we tackle real well in the open space. So we got to make sure that they go come out and try to run the ball because they had success last week, so we got to stop that early. With the return of the Lions' run game, it's opening things up on offense for veteran quarterback Matthew Stafford. He is the only active quarterback this season to have five straight games with a passer rating over 100. Balances out their attack and just just makes them that much more difficult. Uh, Matthew Stafford has always been a great football player. We've had great respect for his ability to throw the ball, and, and he's he's been a guy with, that has re over the years have relied on big passing days, big passing games, big emphasis that way. Um, and you know, coming off this game last week where they just tore it up on the ground. Uh, it really makes it difficult to, to figure out what to do against them. Detroit's pass rush has been effective with 21 sacks this season, good for fourth in the NFL, and they could be getting even better with the recent addition of former first team all pro defensive tackle Damon Harrison. It's been a real problem. They're, they're, they're 21 sacks right now, you know, and, and uh, I think they're the the highest rated team per pass, you know, sack wise. It's, they're, they're very active. It's really mixing their looks and it's a combination of things. It's not just the dominant guy coming off the edge. They've done it uh, various ways. Uh, uh, Devon's got five sacks and, and, and I mean, Ansel's only got one. He hasn't even been able to contribute yet. And he's, you know, a highlighted player. So I don't know if he's getting back or not, but um, it's really, it's a, it's a team kind of thing. It's a lot of coverage uh, oriented sacks as well. They do a lot of cool things with their coverage to make you hold the football and, and it's been just a combination of guys getting their pressure. They're a really good group. They're big, they're strong, they're physical. They play hard. Um, obviously, if they get Ziggy Anza back, that will be, uh, you know, something that makes them even more potent. But they play hard. It's a good scheme. Matt, Patricia, Paul Pasqualoni do a good job of kind of getting those guys uh, to try to create one-on-one -on -one matchup situations. They run a lot of games and stuff inside, so that makes it that makes it hard for for people. If you can stay out of those passing situations, that helps. As for the Seahawks, they're looking to keep that running game alive as they currently rank seventh in the league thanks to four straight games with over 100 yards rushing, and they're looking to take advantage of Detroit's run defense, which ranks near the bottom of the league. It's always on me about running the ball. Uh, normally you get coaches that kind of give you ideas. It's our players that when they come back after a touchdown drive, hey, don't forget, run the ball. So I think that's pretty cool. It's, it's the buy-in, it's the belief in themselves. But there's an attitude there that those guys, they want, they want the ball on their shoulders, if you will. They want, hey, give it, give it to the backs, let us go do what we do. I think the key for us is, 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 is obviously continuing what we're doing and you know, being able to be physical in the running game play with great leverage, um, play with great tempo, and, and then ultimately um, the passing game, be explosive in everything we do. So um, I think that you know, we're excited about you know, taking on that challenge. It's going to be a good challenge. Um, you know, they got a, they got a good team. They're playing really, really well right now, too, and so we have a lot of respect for them.
Well, over the last few weeks, the Seahawks have been playing the type of football that they want to be playing, and they could be getting better with the potential return of linebacker KJ Wright and tight end Ed Dixon. Tune in to see what's in store. Kickoff is set for 10 a.m. Pacific. You can watch it live on Q13 Fox or, as always, listen to it on the Seahawks Radio Network.